What's up everyone? This video is going to be all about how I learned to code in four months. And no, this is not clickbait. This is a genuine story from my life, how I got from where I was to where I am today. And this is a video so you guys get the right information you need and the right tips you need to not make the mistakes that I did. Now, one thing I really clearly remember from when I was pre-high school is my sister telling me, Philip, do you want to learn how to write those squiggly colorful things on the computer? And then she showed me a piece of code that her friend sent to her. And I was like, hell no, no I don't. <sighs> Absolutely not. Looks disgusting, looks confusing. I don't even know what it means. Hell no. So that was the first introduction to code I ever had. And it was an absolute no. So most of you probably don't know this, but when I actually joined high school, I was on route to actually be a doctor and study medicine and specialize in dermatology. It's quite an interesting route, uh, one that I did not expect to ever change. I was so convinced in it. My parents were like, yes, my son is going to be a doctor. Yes, this is fantastic. And uh, look where I am now. When I went to high school, I was studying uh, biology, chemistry, physics, maths, and I thought I liked it. Well, I kind of did, but the exams proved me wrong and they proved me really wrong. I pretty much failed all of them um, and it's because I, I, I didn't revise. But you know, if you love something, obviously you put the effort in and you revise. So clearly I didn't love it. And I told myself, okay, so what am I going to do with my life now? And I was thinking, well, you know what? I like computers. I like computer science. Seems interesting. I'll give that a go. Being totally uncertain of what I'm getting myself into, I'll just, I thought I, I need to take a chance in life. Clearly medicine is not the path for me. Let's just see what life will have to offer. So here is where I started computing at college in my second year. College is high school for the UK. So when I'm alternating between college and high school, I mean high school. So the computing class involved learning uh, a little bit of Python and learning uh, a little bit of web dev. So HTML, CSS and PHP. So surprisingly, well, nobody really learns PHP anymore. But at that point, it was still PHP, which was like seven years ago. Now, bear with me here. Uh, I had absolutely no goddamn clue what I was doing. I didn't know what Python was, didn't know what PHP was, didn't know what anything was. To be fair, I came into class and came out more confused than I was previously. And uh, in my head, I was like, oh, this is the worst choice I've made. Why did I even pick a subject like this? Like, I don't understand anything. What am I going to do with my life? Now, one of the assignments uh, during that class was to build a project for an external client. Well, you can guess, I picked my sister as my external client and I built her a booking system for her business. I found a piece of code that I wrote and I found a piece of the UI that I wrote. Uh, here is a glimpse of it and here is the glimpse of the code. And surprisingly, you're looking at it and you're like, well, this guy doesn't know anything. So how did he write that? Um, I copied and pasted it from the internet and I somewhat got away with it. Um, so if my computing teacher is watching this, sorry. The exams came, my computing exam, of course, and uh, as you know, I sat it and then came the results day. Now, the highest grade you can get is an A star. Then it goes A, B, C, D, E. Guess what I got? I got a U, which is ungraded. I didn't even get an E. I didn't even get a fail. I got an ungraded score. <laughs> That's a shame. Now, I looked back into the archives of my computer and I actually found the computing exam I set. Now, bear with me, look at this question. A company advertises its HTML courses on the internet. The table below shows the HTML form of a web page advertising HTML courses. What is the internet? I probably got it wrong. I probably got it wrong. I mean, if I got ungraded, it means I pretty much got a zero. So I probably got that question wrong. What the hell was I thinking? Okay, long story short, went into my second year, uh, had to reset the exam. Uh, obviously there were some HTML, CSS and uh, PHP things in there. So uh, 
that kind of saved me. There were some questions uh, that I was able to do after a little bit of practice and somewhat I, I passed the exam. With my luck, obviously, uh, I managed to get into the uni that I wanted and I took up computer science. But I didn't just take up computer science, I took up computer science with artificial intelligence. With no knowledge of computer science. But yeah, well, pff, I, I'm the ambitious person I am, yeah, let me just do artificial intelligence. Why not? Sounds interesting. Well, I struggled a lot. I struggled with every subject at university. Uh, somewhat I got past because, you know, obviously there is a lot of uh, friends that you can talk to which might give you answers. And then the point came where I was like, I can't be doing this. This, this won't work for the rest of university. I have to do something about myself. And this is where I really started to focus on myself and my development. Now, I managed to grasp the concepts of web dev because that's what I picked to learn and that's what I was interested in in four months. I managed to grab the fundamentals so well in four months that I could call myself a coder at that point. I, I, I could build a web page, I could interact with backend, I could do a lot of things. The password is password? Now, this is the first thing I did. I went on the web and I was like, how do I learn web dev? Well, as you can imagine, a lot of things came up and it wasn't helpful at all. But somewhat weirdly, I came across Udemy, which I'm sure you know is a course platform. And on there, I found some courses. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to invest in the courses. And the courses that I bought for myself were the complete jQuery course from beginner to advanced. That was my first ever course in my life, which I was like, okay, you know what? This is what I'm going to need, and this is what's going to make me a great developer. Now, of course, at that point, uh, I thought jQuery was the thing, so you can see how much I knew, not much at all. It went through basic HTML, basic CSS, and basic uh, jQuery, and, and that was about it. But I was like, you know what, I need to know more. I want to be able to design somewhat system and learn how to interact with the backend, and learn how to also interact with databases to store data, because I always found data fascinating. Then I picked two courses. The first one was an SQL course called the complete SQL bootcamp, go from zero to hero. And then I went along and picked JavaScript, which was the complete JavaScript course from zero to expert. Now I studied hard. I was watching the videos and watching the videos and watching the videos and watching the videos and watching the videos. Soon I came to realize that when I got onto the sixth or seventh video, I forgot what was covered in the first one. And why did I do that? Well, because I didn't practice. And I was so thankful that I've noticed fast enough to be able to adapt and to be able to put that into perspective, hence where the quick learning actually came from. So how long did it take me? Well, it took me four months to run through these three courses and to practice and to be able to implement the knowledge I gained from those courses into some projects. Now, bear with me, I, I practiced a lot. I really tried to nail all the fundamentals quite quickly and evolve. And the more I did it, the more fascinating I found it, the more intrigued I was and the more hungry I was to learn more. Everything that you cover, take five lectures at once, take a whole topic at once and then practice it, build projects with it. Uh, you know, really engrave it in your head so that when you do move on to the next section, you've already covered it and you've memorized it and you've implemented that knowledge into your projects. So then you actually reinforced everything and you've got that covered. Then you can really say you understand programming. So practice, 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 practice. Make sure that after every section, you put it into practice. Practice is one thing and patience is another. To be successful, you also really need to have the patience. We all get overwhelmed at the beginning. You can't even imagine how overwhelmed I was when I started those courses. I was pulling my hair out. I, I, was, I was broken down. I sometimes threw the books. I was like, I can't do this. This is absolutely impossible. But then the more you practice, you start to prove to yourself that you can actually do it, that you're good enough to learn this. And everyone is. You just got to dedicate your time and have the patience to do it. In summary, join me on this coding journey. Don't let time be your focus. Focus on yourself, focus on your progress and focus on what you want to achieve and be patient. I believe in you, keep working hard and you have my word, you will be amazing at coding. And on that note, I will see you in the next video.